How you doing? I'm AJ Nelson. I'm going to teach you how to invert today. It's uh, one of a couple tricks I know how to do besides dropping in and doing front side grinds. So hopefully this will kind of help you, I don't know, want to learn how to you know, do a hand turn or two and bring it back because no one does them anymore. It's a shame. Inverts are, it's not, it's not a strength trick. It's a very, it's, it's just about momentum. It's a trick with momentum. You can have momentum going up the ramp and uh, I, I didn't learn inverts like low. I, I learned them at coping. Yeah, invert hands, you want to go, it's, it's pretty, you're going to go stink bug in a sense. So if you're goofy footed, you're going to take your right hand and smack dab right between your legs, in between the knees, just dead center. And then your trail arm, your back hand, that's going to be planting the coping. That's going to do the invert. I'm goofy, so front foot, I, I kind of like let it just chill below the, uh, the front two bolts, like so, let it rest there. And then my tail, I just kind of let it sit on the tail. I don't really hang it off, it just kind of sits in that pocket. Yeah, you're gonna reach down, stink bug between your legs, like slob almost, I guess. And uh, your trail arm is gonna be doing the invert, but this is essentially what you wanna be doing when you're coming up the ramp. You wanna be strong when you do the trick. You wanna like have your chest out, and you wanna almost pop your pelvis out. And when you're in there, you're almost gonna stick your arm when you're grabbing the board between your legs. And you'll be strong, just like chest out, pelvis out, whatever you have. That's gonna help you kind of arch your back and stall that invert. That invert, the way you stall it is arching your back. And uh, just be strong with it, make it yours. Like own the trick, don't let it own you. My best advice for grabbing the coping, it's like holding onto a can of Coke. Like you just wanna, like the coping's like a can and you're just gonna grab it like that. And palm and thumb on deck, that helps a lot. Um, there's not much to it other than just getting comfortable being upside down. A lot of the times when uh, you try it, you're gonna freak out because you're gonna get upside down one time and you're gonna be like, oh shit, my equilibrium's off. And it's gonna freak you out. But you need that one bail to like, kind of build your confidence. You're gonna fall over, you're gonna flail out, you're gonna shoot out, you're gonna backflip out. Not every time, but it could happen. That's just worst case scenario. Just keep your head up, don't hit your head. For your mom's sake. You're not gonna be hauling a ton of ass, it's pretty steady. You gotta think you need enough momentum, enough speed to get on top of your arm. You gotta get your body weight over your shoulder and over your hand. So you don't need a lot, but you need just enough. Cause if you go too fast, you're just gonna blow out and you know, eat shit. That's just gonna happen. Yeah, you, just, you want good speed. You're gonna go straight up. You're gonna pick a seam on the object you're skating. Just an invisible line. You're gonna go straight up that line. The invert's an ever evolving trick. It's gonna change so much when you're doing it. They're gonna start real meek and, and tiny, just in the ramp. And the more momentum, more confidence you have, you're gonna build up and you're gonna learn to like really explode up on your arm and just stand on your arm. So spotting your landing when you come in, you're gonna wanna, when you come up to an invert and you're in the invert, you're in the actual trick, you're gonna wanna look down your arm like a rifle barrel. If you haven't done that, just look down your arm and pretty much you're, you're wanting to fall where your nose is. Bailing inverts is like a trick in itself. Like you will like learn to bail an invert. The more you do the trick, you're gonna learn about your body awareness. You're gonna know where your feet are without seeing them. You're gonna know where your knees are and how you feel them out. It's, it's all body awareness. You just wanna be able to keep your head off the ground. At any time you fall, just keep your head up. Like don't hit your head. It's just getting to your feet or just get knee pads on, use your knee pads. Like get to your knees. You can actually do an invert on anything. I'd say uh, for mellower transitions, there's more of an early grab motion. But with like more vert or a you know, steeper transition, you can almost use the coping to your advantage and bonk into it. You're grabbing at coping. Anybody can do them. I think anybody can do an invert as if they want to. It's just you gotta have confidence. You gotta know you can do it. You just have to try it. There's really no, nothing else you can compare it to. You just have to try the trick. At this point where skateboarding's at, I feel like if you just get upside down, get it on your hand, I think you're doing something right. So. Make it yours, make it fun. I say it a bunch, I wish more people would do them. And it's a lost art form, and I wish, uh, wish it got resurrected a little bit. So I hope this uh, kind of, I don't know, maybe inspires someone to try it or get good at it, or I don't know, maybe try to do something that people really don't do anymore. It's like a, it's like a dinosaur, man. They're, they're here, but they're gone. Yeah, inverts.